Greetings! I'm making this small video because I'm about to show you some footage as a culmination of many months and odd days and I'll put the dates on the screen. All the work we've been doing for the loft right, has almost been completed but it's enough to start the next layout. So last night I knocked up the first two baseboards of the new 4mm big layout of the loft for the North Western Railway, uh, the railways of Sodor, pre-grouping stuff, my new big layout basically. It was seven years since I broke up the last one, and it's been a long time click in the making. So, I am apprehensive and excited all at once, because there's a big project on the, on the go. But I need to do it. I've been wanting to do it. Time's now. So, enjoy the video. The next video after this one will be the video based on the baseboards. Didn't go to plan to start with. Anyway. Right, welcome back. It says knocks used for painting and shit with an apostrophe. Because this is my knackered vest that I wear to do painting and shit. And I need an haircut, it's all messy. And I wear my jammy bottoms. Do I care? No. Because I've got nobody to impress, I'm at home. I ain't gonna dress up just to impress you. So, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we've been doing. Okay, despite it being messy looking, it is actually pretty clean compared to what it was. So, this is a progress that we've had for the past year or so, okay, the progress has been very slow, collectively, we've probably only really done, I don't know, a couple of weeks work, contracted in the time between when me and my dad are free, basically, okay, so, what I'm showing you really is a framework, you see you've got electrical points as well, I think there's six of them, so on this side, okay, the framework, it sticks out two feet, which is where I plan to have Knapford Junction, Okay, and then the tunnels, and then the framework here sticks out three foot where I plan to have Tidmouth, and then obviously loop it round. And in the middle, the removable section, that'll be split into several bits and stored there, there, there for one layout maybe, and there, 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 there for another one, and so on. Obviously there's only so many scenes that I can store. We need to put an uh, owl bracket there, one there, and probably something to hang down here because of the the uh, bit that sticks in on both sides so you have a double tier okay so here we see we've got the L brackets in and then these wooden sort of extensions so these are going to support two foot layout 
the top and then it can be a lighting rig to light up the bottom. That's the plan. Um, what else to show you? Literally that's about it. I'll show you the framework though. It's basic, very basic. Slightly bodgy, but it's mainly because the walls are out. I mean, really out. This, this house was built in 1898. This is different colours you might see, because it's been rubbed over with this stuff. Very expensive, about £17, I think, if I remember correctly. Special kind of PVA glue. So I'm now going to cement on this bit and this bit. Now the reason the roof is wrecked is because we've had leaks, and we've been on the roof, got most of it sorted out, but there's been a leak centre of the camera, roughly there. So that needs sorting out now. But I'm basically just going to PVA all that. Right. And this is kind of awkward. Don't range about health and safety. I don't have adequate ideal conditions. Simple as that. Water and cement and PVA mixture. Right. Drip, drip, drip. And paint. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to watch this all day, do you? Of course you don't. Bloody boring. But it needs to be done. So, I might as well stop the camera before you go to sleep. Or we could have a bit of first person perspective, just a wee bit. <laughs> Nothing scientific. I mean, look at all this shit here. That's where mortar's been falling down incrementally over the years. And this uh, expander foam wasn't really adequate, so we had to go on the roof. It looks like we're still going to have to go on the roof. So I'm going to need to evict a spider as well. Oi! Move! Go on. Run away. There you go. Yeah, that's enough of that. Seriously, there's that much crap here. It really ain't funny. You look. I'm going to gum this with a PVA once most of the dust is off. There's nothing really else we can do about it. Awful. But this, this mortar is over 100 years old. So that's what we got so far. When it's dried, I'll move the ladders, do the bit where I couldn't get to. I don't feel that should be mostly it. We need to obviously put the black hessian or whatever it is back up. Um, still can't decide what gauge I'm going to do it in. That's doing my head in big time. I think he agrees and all, don't you, mate? Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, so that wraps up for now. Always remember to wash your brushes. Because the amount of brushes I've knackered by forgetting is uncountable. I wish I could show you something more interesting. It's quite frankly, at the moment it's boring. That's why I've not made a vlog of this. Okay, I've not been vlogging it. It's just not interesting, you know. I don't really want to make a video series showing stuff that's just boring. I'd rather wait until the baseboards are up and the track laying or building starts. At that point, then it might be worth making a series. But until now. You know, it gets done when it gets done. We've still got a leak to sort out yet. And uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I've been going back to Jimbo. Oh, yes, you good in here. Get in there, get in there. Got a lot way to go, though. Still fat as fuck. Yeah, anyway.